All right, hello again, YouTube. Arctic Joe here. Um, yesterday, I took and passed my Security Plus SYO 401 exam, and uh, I didn't pass it with you know flying colors, but I passed it, and I prepared a long time for it. One of the things I did to prepare was I researched, uh, particularly on YouTube, for any kind of videos I could find on this on this exam. And if somebody else had posted a video like this one. Um, the day after they passed the thing, I certainly would have watched it. So uh, that's why I'm posting this. If, if you're out there studying for years right now and you, you got a little bit of the nerves going on and you just want to hear from somebody who just passed it, here's your video. So um, again, I, I just kind of want to talk about how I did it. And I did not get a terrific grade. I did get a passing grade. And I think that a lot of people in the IT profession, particularly people who use this equipment all the time, you know, like firewalls and, and IDSs and, and who deal in security regularly, system admins, etc., probably could have uh, studied for a fraction of the time that I did and passed this test. But since I don't have a lot of hands-on experience with this stuff, uh, and also I'm just thick-headed and I have to overstudy, stuff doesn't get into my head and then stay. Um, I studied for a really long time. So I essentially studied for a year and a half for this exam. And here's how I did it. Um, I, I got the Professor Messer videos on YouTube. Um, he has hours and hours and hours of videos uh, just on the SYO 401 Security Plus exam. And he, he does tutorials for A+, Net+, and, and other computer tutorials too. I just love the way he breaks his down, and I just I, I love his format. I love that uh, he puts himself up in the corner of the screen so you actually can see who's talking to you. It's not just like a bland slideshow. You feel like you're actually being talked to by somebody. Uh, and then, of course, he has his PowerPoint presentation, and he goes through the um, content of the test by domain. Uh, and if you don't know yet, the Security Plus has six domains, six areas that you need to be you know, knowledgeable in. And he goes through to, uh, domain one, this is what you need to know. Domain two, this is what you need to know. All the way through domain six. And uh, again, I watched those videos over the course of a year, uh, probably three times in their entirety. Um, then I got two textbooks. Um, first one I got was uh, this one by Dave Prouse. I want to do a shout out to Dave. Um, I, I really I really enjoyed his material and what I really want to say about this book and about Dave is that he's reachable. Um, I reached out to him, I sent him an email, honestly didn't expect to get a response, got a response and, and we started uh, just a, a series of emails and uh, he was available to answer questions as I read through his book and just very reachable, very approachable, very friendly, knowledgeable guy. Um, then I got uh, this textbook by Dr. Mark Ciampa. Um, what I really love about this textbook is what I already said about um, Professor Messer. Dr. Ciampa breaks it down by domain. And um, all six domains are covered. And in his table of contents, you can see, you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm weak on, you know, domain one, for example, which is network, um, topologies and, and tools and infrastructure and, and uh, IDSs and firewalls and things like that. Here are the two chapters on that domain, just just read those. So I, I really like the fact that he broke down his textbook by domain. He also, as most textbooks do, have uh, uh, practice questions in the back. And um, I reached out to him as well, uh, emailed him, did, did a little bit of research online, found out where he works and what his email address is, and I uh, reached out to him and got a response, so thank you very much. And the thing I specifically asked him was, do you have any videos that I can watch, because I really learned by watching videos. And it turns out his entire textbook is on YouTube, although I did a YouTube search for Mark Ciampa and uh, found nothing. So I, I think he's got a channel on there that doesn't necessarily go with his name, but uh, he sent me a PDF file listing all these YouTube videos that, that I watched, and they were very helpful, so thank you, sir. And then getting back to Dave's book, Dave uh, had a uh, 
disc in the back that had software on it, simulations including practice tests. And I just, I took Dave's practice tests over and over and over. And what I like about them is afterwards, uh, you can see which questions you got wrong, and then it'll explain to you why that's the wrong answer and why you should have selected the right answer and, you know, the thinking behind it. There was also, uh, not a disc, but a link to a web page. Um, I think it was Cengage Learning that had a couple of uh, practice tests, too. I didn't particularly like those. Um, they tell you the right answers to the questions you missed, but they offer no explanation as, as to why that's the right answer and why the answer that you selected, although possibly a good answer, is not the best answer. So I didn't really like... Um, I, I love the material and the content and the breakdown. Um, I loved the practice exams and the feedback from Dave. And uh, now about the test. So um, I went in. Uh, everybody knows that the Security Plus exam is a 90 question test that takes 90 minutes. So I was very surprised when I got in that, that test cubicle to discover that I, it was a 72 question test. Um, I still don't have any explanation for that. At first I panicked and thought, am I taking the right test? But indeed it was. It was the SYO 401 Security Plus. Um, but it was not a 90 question test. It was a 72 question test. And something I just kind of like to alert you to if you're going to be taking this thing soon. Uh, another thing that most of us know is that uh, these CompTIA exams are pretty much just, you know, multiple choice. Uh, you, you basically got four answers to choose from and, and you choose the best answer and every now and then there'll be one of those where it's, you know, select two or something. But the first two questions on, on the exam, and this is a video exam on a computer screen that you sit in front of, were these uh, GUI simulations which I was not prepped for. And uh, they were the first two questions on the exam. So it made me really nervous right from the start because it's not just a case of knowing the material, it's a case of being able to navigate this uh, simulated GUI that, that they've put on the screen for you. Um, the testing center did not have a widescreen monitor, it had a 4 by 3 monitor. Uh, and the directions on how to work your way through the simulation covered up the simulation. So you had to constantly move that window over here to see a portion of the simulation that you're trying to manipulate and then get the answers to. And these were the first two questions. And again, you have 90 minutes to take the test. I bet I spent 15 minutes at least on just those first two questions. And I thought the whole test was going to be like that. And I thought, forget it. I, I'm, I can't pass this thing. I'm not even going to get through all 72 questions. I mean, geez, the time it takes me to navigate this GUI and figure out what it is they're wanting me to do on this simulation, which, you know, parts of it are clickable and parts of it aren't. But it was just those first two questions. Now, I remember when I took my uh, A-plus and my net-plus, uh, I had been advised that there were probably going to be some questions on the exam which didn't count, and that CompTIA was just using to see how people reacted to them. Uh, all I can guess is that that's what these first two questions were. So if you do go in to take this exam, uh, first of all, if you're expecting 90 questions, it's not 90, it's 72. Um, and second of all, if you get hit right off the bat with these um, simulated GUI environments that you can't see because the instructions on how to navigate them cover up the GUI itself, don't freak out. These are the first two questions. I suspect CompTIA put them in there just to see how people reacted to them. And then probably the bulk of the test, which is this, the following 70 questions, is what they grade you on. Um, halfway through, I felt I was doing so badly that I just wanted to get through it so I could see what my failing score was. Uh, I'm not a competent test taker. And again, as I've said, I, I don't keep information in my head very well. So um, halfway through, I was really just... My butt was getting kicked, and I thought I failed this thing. But I kept answering each question the best I could, um, and I did pass the thing. I was surprised. Um, I, I thought it was going to say fail, but uh, it, it showed my score and said pass. And okay, I'm thrilled. Was not easy for me. Again, 
would probably be easy for somebody who works in the security IT field or who regularly deals with firewalls and intrusion detection um, products and, and uh, unified threat management products and, and, and things like that. Um, but anyway, I passed it. Um, thanks very much to Professor Messer, Dave Prouse, and Dr. Mark Siampa. And uh, if you're about to take yours or if you have taken yours, let me know. Love to hear your, your feedback and your reactions. But good luck. Keep plugging. Get that cert. And uh, I'm out. Thanks.